MrYorkieLoverFitness.com. Is Callum Van Moger going to destroy his career? Now, as many of you know, Callum Van Moger is 27 years old, and he's from Australia. He's been also called Arnold 2.0, as you can see from the similarities here. He's from Australia. Arnold was from Austria, and he has a big social media platform out there. He has 2.7 million followers on Instagram. He does posts every day. He has 633,000 followers on YouTube, and he puts up a, a video or two every week. And he even has his own website where he sells supplements. Uh, he has a monthly membership and sells clothing. He's been in two movies so far. He's been in Generation Iron 2, and he's in a movie called Bigger that's coming out. This is the movie about Joe Weider and Arnold Schwarzenegger, where, as you see, call him on the right, we'll be playing Arnold. In December 2017, he tore his bicep doing this little trick. Okay, so this was a stunt, obviously, for YouTube and his Instagram. And then he just did this stunt in April earlier this month. He tore his knee from doing that stunt, and he ends up re-tearing his bicep during that rock climbing fall, trying to pull himself back up, as you see as he posted this on his Instagram. And then today, he posts on his Instagram, he went to the ER and he has a possible blood clot in his leg. So they're, they're checking out the whole knee and they do find out that there is a blood clot. And this is a very dangerous thing. Because as you see right here from this post, it is life-threatening. Anytime you have a blood clot anywhere, it could kill you. Now, I met him September 2016 at Muscle Beach. And this is when he was competing, and obviously Muscle Beach is an amateur competition. And Colum is a two- or three-time Mr. Universe winner, and that's in a different league. That's in the NABBA league. And he's competing here because he has to win three amateur competitions so he can join the IFBB league. His goal is to become a Mr. Olympia physique winner. So here he was competing for the first time. And I was also lucky enough to get an interview with him. He's a real, real nice guy. So, Cal, earlier I noticed that you were wearing like a zebra, what is it called? Like a mankini or what? No, mankini. It was a cholo. It's just posing tracks. Just posing tracks. Well, I noticed that they were zebras, so is that like a metaphor or something to be wearing an animal? A bit of a wild man. Maybe in the bed, but just stay on I think we all wanted to know that, but we all ended up being friends. And then I met him again in January 2017 at the LA Fit Expo. And he has a great sense of humor. As you see here, he's wearing this onesie. And, he, and he's very uh, generous with his time to his fans. Very friendly. Lets you film. Lets you take pictures. And this girl asked to be on top of his shoulders for a photo. And he obliged. So like I said, this guy's a really down-to-earth nice guy. And then I met him again uh, January 2018 at the LA Fit Expo. Now this brings me back to my buddy Leroy Colbert. Now, Leroy Colbert was a promising bodybuilder back in the 50s. Here he was on three different magazine covers, and he's the first man to build 21-inch arms naturally. And so, like I said, he was very prominent back then, and, and they expected, uh, Joe Weider expected big things from him. But Leroy Colbert loved to ride his motorcycle, and one day when he was riding his motorcycle, he was on a mountain road going around a corner, and his foot was, his left foot was sticking out. A truck coming in the opposing lane clipped his foot 
almost ripped it off and basically jacked up his ankle so he could never fully train his leg and this pretty much ended his bodybuilding career and all these stunts that Colum's doing I mean this could be this could be a cautionary tale he could he could follow the same path as Leroy eventually disappear and I went through and I, I found this uh, July 2009 interview that I did with Joe Weider and Leroy Colbert Joe gives some great advice and I hope Colum takes this advice. I hope he's watching and sees this. So, Joe, I'm, I'm taking from this conversation, you never rode a motorcycle. Nick, I wasn't. Why would I put myself in that position? Because I wasn't training. I wasn't So you're saying, like, a lot of things like that are like riding a motorcycle, you would not even do because you're just like, why would you do I wouldn't help that. Maybe if I, I don't know, my, my mind was on my work. And I was dedicated. I'm doing my job. If it wasn't going to do that. I was in Canada. I could have been a mountain skier, playing on ice. With this on ice skating. But I wouldn't be a hockey player. I wouldn't fly in the air with skis. And I think you need the thrill. With the thrill I had was to put in other magazines, to pictures, and seeing people improve themselves. Rewriting to me how happy they are that I helped them. That was my thrill. thrill. Not to go on the motorcycle, not to fly in the air. Now, it's interesting that Joe said that, and he was very disappointed because, like I said, he had high hopes for Leroy. And uh, Leroy did make it in the IFBB Hall of Fame, and he made it in the Muscle Beach Hall of Fame. Joe felt he could have went further in his bodybuilding career because of that motorcycle accident. He didn't. And like Joe says, why would you take those risks if you're a bodybuilder, is the same risk that Callum's taking. He should take Joe's advice, and I know social media puts a lot of pressure on these people to post interesting things every day. Lay off the stunt. He should concentrate on trying to win the Mr. Olympia physique, which is his goal, and then he should seek out more acting roles. If he continues doing what he's doing, then I feel he will destroy his career because he'll end up destroying his body, and obviously his career has came from his body. Now his friends or whoever's managing him needs to take him aside and start regulating some of these antics he does or else it could it could be the end very soon for him. And I, I don't wish that on him because I like I said, I've met him several times. He is a very nice guy. I, I hope he succeeds. I think he has the very potential to succeed and get farther in his life and accomplish his goals. But if he keeps up with the antics, uh, I'm afraid it'll probably hinder him and stop him from doing that and he'll have a lot of regrets later not reaching his full potential. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Check out MrYorkyLeverFitness.com for bonus videos not found anywhere else.